Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And yes, I know my voice sounds goofy still. I'm still sick. I actually waited a couple days because I was like, you know what? My voice sounded weird in that video. Let me wait the next day. Oh, still sick. All right, let me just wait one more day. Oh, my voice still sounds awful because I'm sick. So uh, yeah, here I am. And I don't really want to go to the doctor because I'm not like dying or anything. So I can't really justify getting medicine and shoot a bunch of crap up into my body just because I have a little cough, but you know. So there is 30 seconds wasted about me talking about nothing Python related. Let's go ahead and get on with Python now. So in this video, let's go ahead and make a new Python file. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name it domain. And this is gonna be a real quick video. We're gonna write two quick functions and we're gonna make the functions responsible for extracting this domain name, the newboston.com. So the reason that we do this like I said, is because whenever we're crawling some website and we come across a bunch of links, most of them we're going to want to crawl. But then whenever we come to links like this, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, well, if we add those to the waiting list, then our spider tries to crawl those. And of course, we want to say, hey, only stick to links that are from this domain. Don't try to crawl the entire internet. So what we need to do is whenever we paste in the URL, we also need to um, extract the domain. It's actually pretty cool. So from URL lib dot parse, import URL parse. If I can URL parse. So again, Python already includes this cool little module for parsing URLs. How awesome is that? So let me explain what I'm going to do first. So this is the only part we care about. This is called the network location. This is the protocol, HTTP. Um, these are just the files and directories over here. This is the domain name, the only part we care about. Now, the thing about this is not all domain names are the same. It's just not some word and then .com or .edu. Some have www, some have uh, like mobile, some have like mail.gov.ny.lottery.thenewboston.com, dot whatever. So the thing is that these domain names are a little bit weird. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna get this entire network location. So it doesn't matter if it is broken up into one, five, or a <coughs> my god i feel like shooting myself in the freaking face right now all right so it doesn't matter how many chunks it's broken up into we're just going to get the last two such as com dot the new boston and you guys are going to see all right so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to make a function called get uh sub domain name and this can be something like name dot example dot com so usually it might just be like the new boston dot com but if it has more than one in it let me write something like uh mail dot now keep that like this so again pretty much your entire network location no matter how many pieces there are so i'll say diff git sub domain name and we're just going to pass it in a url and how do we do this well the first thing like i said we want to put it in a try accept statement anytime we're working with networking or you know connecting to a server or anything like that we always want to put it in a try catch so we're just going to return url parse which means we're going to throw in the url right here it's going to parse through it again this is built in python functionality and we're just going to return the net lock network location so that's all we do how easy is that now except we're just going to return blank because we have to return something the call in function is going to expect a return value so we just can't write pass here so we have to return that right there all right so like i said this is going to return the entire subdomain but we only want these last two so what we can do is we can essentially call this function break it up and say okay return the last one in the second to last one and then this is what we're going to use in our program so that little chunk of it so i'll say this get domain name and this is just going to be our last one. So example.com. Can't type today. Can't type any day. Def get domain name. And of course, we're just going to throw in the URL right here. 
and make it a little try except so try the results of this is git subdomain name throw in the URL so whenever we call this function it's going to call this function and it's essentially going to return something like this but what we need to do now is we need to actually go ahead and split this up into pieces so we're going to make a list out of this item this item and this item now once we have that list we can just return the last two elements and that's going to give us our raw domain name so in order to split it up that way you just write split dot right here so whatever you type in here is the character that it's going to chunk it up by and now results is a list of three elements name example.com if your subdomain has um, four in it then you know same thing whatever so what do we want to return we just want to return results minus two so the second to last item plus a period plus results minus one so actually I can test this right now why am I getting an error right here Oh, because I'm an idiot so except return and let me just throw in any URL like this all right so I'll say print uh, git domain name and I'll just pop that right in right there and now hopefully I ran this right all right so now you can see it returns the doomboston.com now if you guys know how that worked then you can go on the next video but for those of you who don't let me talk you guys through it one last time what we did is we p passed in this entire thing right in here and then the first thing it did is it called git subdomain name so it got all of this right here but it didn't matter if it was check this out mobile.email.thenewboston.com it would get all of this and then it would get the second to the last which was this one and the last one which was this one and that's what it returned and of course you have to put a dot in the middle and that's why I had the dot in the middle right there so now every single URL we test we're gonna make sure that it has the new boss not in it if it does we are good to go so delete this line of code and uh, yeah so I'll see you guys in the next video where my voice is gonna sound <laughs> probably even worse